Hey, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're talking about this 40 volt max XGT half inch hammer drill driver uh, paired with this 8 amp hour battery from Makita. And we're gonna see if this battery and tool combination provides this drill with any more performance or power than what we've already seen so far. And uh, we, if you've seen our uh, before episodes, you know that we've tested this drill already with the 2.5 and 4 amp hour batteries. So we're gonna test it now with this 8 amp hour battery and see how it stacks up, right? Or see if you get any more performance. Um, the results may surprise you, so you do not wanna miss this. Stick with us. All right, you guys, so this right here is a half inch Hemo Duro driver that we've already reviewed fully on the channel. I believe that's episode six in the, in the drill uh, series or whatnot. So if you wanna see a full review of this drill driver, go check it out in episode six of drill, uh, drills, right? The model number on this one, just catch everybody up, is GPH01, and this is their half inch hammer drill driver on their XGT platform, okay? So uh, the thing we really wanna know today is how much more power does it get with this eight amp hour battery? And this eight amp hour battery, we believe, is probably the biggest cordless battery uh, power tool, handheld power tool battery that they've made so far. We can't really say it's the biggest battery they've made so far because they do kind of make that 1200 uh, watt hour backpack type battery for Connect X type stuff. So we can't say that anymore, but we're gonna say this is probably the biggest single battery that you can use on a power tool, handheld, maybe, I don't know. Uh, just know that's probably the biggest battery you could probably use on a drill from Makita. Let's just say that, okay? Uh, so the battery model number is BL4080F, and it's a 36 volt battery uh, using eight uh, amp hours. So that's a lot of watt hours if you think about it, okay? So uh, let's stop the jibber jabber, get into testing, and then we'll go review the numbers. All right, so I hope y'all caught those numbers because some of those numbers went by pretty fast and some of them did not, but the numbers are gonna surprise you. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at it, all right? So uh, uh, just to catch everybody up on the, sh we do a, a light duty, medium duty, uh, and an auger test type deal, um, but let's just go and take a look at it, all right? So on the lighter duty test, the five, six, 10 by six inch lag test with the eight amp hour battery, we ran three runs. It did all three runs on speed two. And then the average of the three runs comes in at 1.46 seconds with the average peak torque measured of around 123 inch pounds, all right? On the heavier duty test, the half inch by eight inch lag, uh, it, we did all three runs. It did have to do it on speed one, however, as you would expect. And on the average of the three runs comes in at 5.26 seconds with a peak torque average of 408.33 inch pounds. That's a high peak torque average there, all right? So on the uh, auger test, we pretty much run a three quarter inch auger. We did run that test and it was able to complete it both times on speed two. And then the average of the two runs comes in at 4.2 uh, seconds on average, all right? We did not run the masonry test, mainly because when we just forgot until it's probably not gonna be any difference with that, so it really doesn't matter. And we don't keep it, uh, we don't factor that into the leaderboard ranking anyway, so in this case, it really won't matter, all right? So the peak torque that we've measured across all the tests that we did so far, uh, or with this drill, or drill and battery combination, is 453 inch pounds of peak torque. That's a lot of peak torque for a small handheld drill driver, if you want to call it that. And this tool and battery combination with the handle, okay, we did measure it with the handle, comes in weighing in at a whopping eight pounds, 7.68 ounces, all right? That is a heavy drill. I believe that it's probably the heaviest battery powered drill combination that we've tested so far on this entire channel, all right? So that's like eight pounds, more than eight pounds. Just think about eight pound drill driver, all right? So, 
Let's go take a look at the total performance score. So total performance score is uh, created by adding the averages of the three runs of the three kinds of tests. So the average or the sum of the three runs comes in at 10.93 seconds. All right, where does that put it on the leaderboard? Let's go check it out. 10.93 puts it right behind uh, this drill using the four amp hour battery because uh, that combination had 10.62, right? And then going back to the DeWalt, uh, in right in front of the DeWalt DCD 999, using a nine amp hour flex volt battery, right? That's a flex volt advantage drill gets maximum, you know, boost of per performance or whatnot using a flex volt drill. And that one had 11.25, okay? So it sits right between third and uh, fifth place. So right in fourth place on the leaderboard with this battery, all right? So let's go take a look at uh, what it gained or did not gain um, from the four amp hour battery. So let's put those on the screen and let's go take a look at it. So with the four amp hour battery, the average of the light duty test uh, was about 1.33 seconds with a peak torque average of 92, okay? Um, but with the eight amp hour battery, we had 1.46 seconds, but the peak torque average uh, required to complete those runs was a lot higher, all right? It was about 92 uh, to uh, 23, so that's like, you know, let's just say uh, close to like tw high 20s, or let's say 30 uh, inch pounds average more, but it took only like 0.13 seconds longer, uh, so you know, it. it in a way you could say it kind of makes sense, who knows. All right, so on the heavier duty test, let's see this, because this is where a lot of the you know uh, performance we should really show in a drill. Um, with the four amp hour battery, the average came out to 5.19 seconds. And then the peak torque average to complete that came in at three, uh, 339.67 inch pounds, okay? With the eight amp hour battery, we're talking about 5.26 seconds and a peak torque average of 408.33 inch pounds. All right, so take a look at it. We're talking about point, uh, point uh, I can't even think about it, 0 0.07 seconds um, longer, right, to do it with eight amp hour battery. But the peak torque uh, required to do that was close to about 70-ish inch pounds more required to do that, right? So uh, just factor that in. And then the auger test, pretty much, there's not a huge amount of torque required to do the auger test. It's really more of how much torque can be sustained on a higher speed pretty in this case right so it came out to about 4.2 for uh, the 8 amp hour and um, 4.1 for the uh, 4 amp hour right so uh, you know take that with the grain of salt but if you've been following this video or the series or even just the channel and you look at the time of the videos were recorded we've noticed that for whatever reason the peak torque required to complete the test on this set of uh, let's call it a glue lamp for the better, lack of a better word, glue lamb um, was a little bit higher on every test. So even the Bosch test and the uh, right angle super hog test type stuff, uh, for some reason this wood, even though we bought it all at the same time, is a little bit more dense from the same batch. All right, so uh, take that with a grain of salt. But if you wanna take anything away from this, right, we're talking about 10.62 in third place versus 10.93 in fourth place, you could argue there is not a huge amount of performance gained uh, going from the four amp hour to eight amp hour, right? So you would imagine someone would probably expect, you know, oh, I would expect you two times the performance or somewhere close to like half the performance increase, right? But that is not necessarily the case with this drill. Yes, it, pro it produced more peak power to get there or more peak torque to get there. And you could argue if, you know, the playing grounds were all the same, it would probably fit in at a higher uh, ranking, right? But if you're gonna be ta talking about using this drill, right? We're talking about close to six pounds using a four amp hour battery versus eight pounds with a eight amp hour battery. It really doesn't make sense to be using this drill with eight amp hour. I mean, just look at it, it just looks ridiculous, right? Um, so, you know, take that with the grain of salt. But the thing to really take away here is you did not get as much performance improvement with eight as you would have expected with the four. But that's all we can say. So hope this video helped you guys out and helps answer some of those questions. You know, does the eight amp hour big boy battery provide more peak power on this tool? Most likely not. And that seems to generally be the case with most of the Makita uh, XGT tools. They somehow designed and tuned it to, you know, require less amounts or depend less heavily on the amperage of the battery to provide consistent performance. So uh, that's the thing to take away. Hopefully this, video has helped, uh, hopefully this video has helped you guys out. If you have any questions like that, let us know. Otherwise, the only thing you can take away from here is there is, uh, you know, the leaderboard goes with Flex Flex and then Makita Makita and then DeWalt and then Flex and then Makita and then Flex and then Milwaukee, all right? So 
Hope this video helped you guys out. Otherwise, have a great day. Go get back to work, and we'll see you guys next time.